Hey guys, Mono here with some Helldivers 2 tips and strategies to help you spread democracy and prosperity around the galaxy. I will be providing timestamps and trying to front load what I think are the lesser known and more important tips first. But if you want to support the channel and videos like this one, then watch it all the way through because it really does help. All right, tip number one, enemy patrols. This is a core gameplay mechanic the game doesn't really explain, but throughout a map you'll see small groups of enemies roaming around or just chilling around areas of interest. When they spot you or hear you, they will take a few seconds to do the Pikachu shock face and then they will raise an alarm calling in for reinforcements. For the bugs, that is releasing spores or pheromones into the air that will trigger a bug reach and for the automatons, it's firing off a flare that calls in their dropships. So make sure you kill any enemy patrols that might detect you by coordinating with your squad, because the thing is, when you're dealing with one bug reach, another bug patrol might come around mid combat and trigger another alarm, and that's when things get really out of control. The bigger the fight, the more patrols will see it, and before you know it, things go from this to just run away. Tip number two, on PC you can hold down X to drop your backpack or samples. It's very useful if you want to send a couple of guys to do a side mission on their own and not have to worry about maybe both of them dying and leaving their samples there. It also enables you to pick up the recoilless rifle and the ammo backpack very quickly when you call that and then you can give your backpack to a buddy that wants to help you reload so you don't have to worry about that the second you call in the bazooka. Speaking of support weapons like the grenade launcher and the recoilless rifle, once the cooldown is over, you can call another one in, so you can eventually give one to your entire squad, basically. The recoilless is very good against armor, but it can also be used to take down objectives like the illegal broadcast tower and can even shoot down automaton dropships if you shoot their engines, which is super powerful. The grenade launcher is also an extremely good weapon and my personal favorite. So tip number three, the grenade launcher can kill pretty much every single enemy in the game if fired at their weak spot and absolutely destroys medium sized units if you fire at their legs or the ground. For the automaton walkers, if you shoot slightly behind, it will kill the drivers instantly and for the armored bugs, again, shooting at the ground completely bypasses their armor. Though watch out because sometimes you shoot and the grenade just bounces on their armor and goes directly at you and you end up dying. But apart from that, it's actually really good. It can also be used to close down bug holes and the automaton factories by shooting into the vents and is amazing at destroying the bugs eggs. Definitely one of the first stratagems that you want to unlock. Tip number four, if you pair this with the resupply backpack, you can rearm yourself by pressing five. This combined with the standard resupply, which gives you four ammo boxes, plus the ammo you already find just scattered around a level means you can basically just main the grenade launcher and go full auto in most encounters making you the best fodder slash medium enemy destroyer of your squad. All right, tip number five, plan your route around the map in a way that helps you visit every single red glowy area. These represent either nests or outposts that you will want to take out to get better rewards for your mission. So try to hit them as you complete your objectives. If there's a radar side mission, do that first as it will reveal areas of interest around the map. Areas of interest can have requisition credits, medals, or even some of the premium currency, so make sure you check for everything. Some of these are like buried containers that you need to blast open using a grenade or some other type of explosive. Also, when you clear out the nest or any of these areas of interest, make sure you look around for samples because there's almost always samples just lying around these areas. All right, now let's go over some quick tips before getting into some general strategy and stratagem recommendations. Tip number six, you can hold down R to change your weapon fire mode and toggle the flashlight on or off, which can be very helpful if you wanna remain stealthy on night visions. Some weapons, like the machine gun, allow you to choose between a higher or lower fire rate, so definitely check that out. Tip number seven, you can cook your grenades. 
So probably don't, because you'll end up killing a lot of your squad mates doing it, basically. All right, tip number eight. Use your middle mouse button to enter first person view, which zooms in a bit and just makes landing shots easier. Tip number nine, on PC, you can rebind your stratagem keys to something that's not WASD. So for example, the arrow keys, that way you can still move around while calling in an airstrike or whatever. This is the best. Lastly, if you see one of those big artillery guns, you can access the terminal and then load up some rounds into it, which will give you a new strategy that you can call. The shots will be fired in the order you loaded them, so make sure you load the best ones first. You can find mini nukes, explosive shells, napalm, smoke, and an EMP round, so make sure to run around and see what's available before you load stuff in. Lastly, this is a little bug that might get fixed at some point, but if you spam the interact key while you're walking around carrying one of these rounds, you walk a lot faster. So you can definitely speed up the process by just spamming that. All right, now let's go over some general strategy and talk about the best stratagems that you can pick up early on. I will be doing a stratagem video at some point and just, I have so many ideas of videos for this game. I just don't have the time to do them right now, but anyway. First thing you need to understand is that the longer a fight goes on, the more likely you are to get overwhelmed. You do need to run away often to get some distance. So disengaging is just one of the main tactics in the game. The static field orbital strike is really good for this since it's the only thing in the game that will actually stop the enemies from following you. The tougher missions require that you actually manage the enemy patrols in time so they don't raise the alarm because otherwise things go to hell really, really fast. Also, I suggest taking in the bug missions first and getting some of the more important stratagems before you deal with the automatons because you need a lot of armor penetration and just a lot of stratagems in general that you get later on. So things like the anti-material rifle, the recoilless rifle, but also stuff like the EMP, the cannon or the auto cannon turret thing, which you unlock pretty late. So those stratagems just make the whole thing more manageable. Some of the best early unlocks that you can use are the Eagle airstrike, which can take down nests and factories. The grenade launcher, the mines, which will completely shut down an area. They are super good. They will last often for several waves. So just, you know, make sure you don't drop them in an area where you need to walk through afterwards because you'll be really sorry you did. The turrets can be very useful, but they will also draw aggro. And if you just drop them on the enemy or between you and the enemy, they will get destroyed almost immediately. So make sure you position them off to the side or up high somewhere as a defensive tool rather than an offensive one. The mortar turret is really good for defending a point while you're completing an objective and it will start firing before you can see the enemy. So it acts as some sort of alarm system, which is really helpful. However, if you're going to attack somewhere and you place a mortar turret and then just run forward, expect to be bombarded by your own turret. Lastly, against most bugs, their weak spots are their legs, so their limbs, not their bodies. So aim for their limbs and joints and you'll see them go down a lot faster. For the automatons, it's usually just like the head and the glowing red areas or orange areas. I saw someone comment that the shotgun is really effective against them. I haven't tried it myself. That's probably because it just helps you hit those weak points. But if you have any recommendations regarding that, make sure you drop a comment below. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I'm planning on doing videos again on stratagems, builds, just more tips in general and coverage of this amazing game because it really is extremely good. So make sure you subscribe for more. Leave any tips you have down in the comment section to help each other out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.